Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got from, I apologise I didn't get your name for this, but you know who you are. One, after two failures to capture the MiG-21 resulting in executions of the spies in 1966, the Mossad, uh, Israeli Secret Service coerced and an Iraqi Christian pilot, Munir Redfar, to defect the above-mentioned MiG-21F to Israel, which proved instrumental in the 1967 Six-Day War where they shot down numerous MiG-21s. Operation Diamond. Now, this is going to be really sweet because it ties in with other videos we've done. If you're a viewer of Grim Reapers, you know we've done several videos on Operation Have Donut. It's something we discovered when just doing some general missions. Operation Have Donut is where the Americans in the 60s gained Soviet aircraft, including the MiG-21, tested them against their equivalent American planes, F-4 Phantom, uh, F-100 Sabre, and so on. And that leads us to the stories of how did the United States get hold of these aircraft. And in this case, Operation Diamond is how eventually the Western side got hold of a MiG-21F, actually again from Iraq, but from, you know, from the, if you like, the red side. And it's really interesting stuff. Operation Diamond, we've already read this beginning here. So the first two attempts, the Israel and, if you like, the blue side, wanted to acquire the latest Soviet fighter, the MiG-21, to study it, to find its weaknesses, to find how to beat it in air-to-air -air combat. In the end, they succeeded, and they ended up winning the Six-Day War. The first attempt to acquire the aircraft was conducted in Egypt by Mossad agent Gene Thomas. Thomas and his group were ordered to find a pilot who, for $1 million, would agree to fly the plane to Israel. However, the first attempt was unsuccessful. The Egyptian pilot they contacted, Abdehna, informed the authorities about Thomas's interest in the MiG. Thomas, his father, and three other people were arrested and charged for espionage. Thomas and two others were hanged in 1962, and the other three members of the group received long prison sentences. The second attempt also failed. Mossad agents ended up assaulting two Iraqi pilots who refused to cooperate with them in order to keep them quiet for some time. Success. There is some cool stuff. You want to come read it here. It's just in Wikipedia. The opportunity to defect came, and this is based on the preparation here, in 16th of August 1966. While Redfer was flying over Jordan, his plane was tracked by radar. The Jordanians contacted Syria but were reassured the plane belonged to Syrian Air Force and was on a training mission. When Redfer's plane reached Israel, he was met by two Israeli Dassault Mirage which escorted him to Hatzor. Later at a press conference, Redfast said that he had landed the plane on the last drop of fuel. So this is a massive part of history that played a massive part of history in the next few years in wars and studies and have donut and so on. And so it really needs reenacting by us. Now, if you've seen us, you know our reenactments are very Hollywood eyes. We like to add lots of combat fighting and stuff like that to sex things up. But that's just how we do it. So stand by for the defection of Mr. Redfar and his trusty sidekick. Okay, valuable viewers, we're going to escape to Israel myself and my uh, sidekick, um, Iraqi version of Iraqi RC. Unfortunately, we are being escorted by a bunch of ignore the German flags. Uh, they are Iraqi MiG-19s. They were active in service at the time 1966. They're going to escort us. And we don't want to fight them uh, because MiG-19s are actually pretty cool in combat, in close combat, and I'm actually worried that we're going to lose. So... Um, we don't want a fair fight, so what we're going to do is run away from them. And what we do have is Mac 2.2 potential. Uh, so, as soon as I give the code word defect to RC, we're going to turn uh, west towards Israel, over the south of Syria towards Israel, and we're going to defect. I'm going to try and outrun these guys who are actually going to try and shoot us down. So it should be interesting to see how it goes. Now, what we do have is a trick up our sleeve. We've got A, a special afterburner mode, which we'll put on. B, we've got Ratos. These are these little cha whoops, chaps here. They are rockets, which are supposed to be used for heavy takeoffs. But we've taken them with us. Just We're saying that we're testing the aerodynamic mountings on them. What we're actually going to do is bang those ratos on, which will give us another 300 knots of speed, and we'll outrun those missiles of those MiG-19s. Simple as that, really. Uh, we're going to do it for the first time because we don't believe in making preparations for videos. Any questions on that RC? Right, well, don't screw that Let's up. Do don't screw it up because Israel is depending on this. First thing is just to cruise RC. Cruise, do not right. look suspicious in any way. Maintain everything. Be suspicious. You'll want those. Um, I'm putting special afterburner on mode on now. I'm arming the Rato ejection system. Okay, we're just uh, cruising along with our little guys here in formation, doing our normal combat air patrol. Um, are you ready for the thing we talked about in the training, RC? Ready. Okay, the problem is with my aircraft, I think I've got a defect. 
<laughs> Hit that J2. Hit the J2. Cap, J2, on. <laughs> Brilliant, Aussie. You've gone the wrong way, but you know what? Close enough. I'm going this way to Israel. <laughs> Look at that speed. Ain't catching me up. I can't even see. I got so quick, they can't even see me. <laughs> Bye, suckers. J2 is released. Jesus, the speed of the thing. They're after us. They're after us. <laughs> you lose. I'm flying. I'm flying. Oh, he's going the long way around. You said west, right? Yes, you've gone east. Doesn't matter. Close enough, RC. Yeah. Emma Sale and RC have been travelling for a while now. The sun's setting. We are dangerously low on fuel, as you can see. Literally running on fumes as we speak. Looking for the Hatsa Israeli airbase. Should be on the nose, RC, according to our Mossad sources. Oh, yeah, the base is right ahead of us, RC. Go in, quick circuit, okay. put it down on the runway. Lovely bit of sun over the Mediterranean, question mark? Must be. Yeah, it's Mediterranean. I knew that. Airbase ahead, I'll see. Looking sexy. Okay. I'm glad we played our part in Operation Hub Donut and the Six Day War and whatever else came from this. Alright. Gas is at zero. The Red Sea, that's what I meant, the Red Sea. Who said the Mediterranean? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh. SRC, can I help you at all? <laughs> uh, I'll see, we're meant to be spies. We're, me. we're meant to be sexy. I can't help it, I'll see. <laughs> okay, um, Atsar, Israeli Air Force Base, two uh, defecting MiG 21s in for. Uh, recovery with zero gas. Please clear all emergency runways and emergency services, fire, and all that stuff. All that good stuff that we like. Okay, I'll see. Let's do a quick pop round, the quickest circuit you've ever seen. Do you want to do this? Do you want to be the have this be the downwind, or do you want to? Yeah, this is. Uh, uh, yeah, make this downwind actually, because I'm worried we're actually going to run out of okay. gas. Which runway are we going to be using both? You know. One on the left. On the left. I'll jump. Flap skier down. Oh sweet, that really annoying radar altimeter. <laughs> and I'm turning in. Very short final. Ah, it's a short final. Good luck, RC. I'm yeah, coming. Give a lot of speed, though. Gear down. Flaps down. Use the fuel. Now, use your last drop of fuel. That's it. I did. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ozzy's gonna die. <laughs> Can cap make it? You're going down, sir. That glider ratio and ting. We've lost one defective plane. <laughs> Don't <Yep>. worry. <laughs> Super cap will make it. There was no way I was making it without putting. Some I can make Broadway it. On that thing. We both started with 8% gas. Can we can't make it? Yeah. Don't touch the afterburner. Don't touch the afterburner. Don't touch the afterburner. Don't touch the afterburner. Ah! Look, I'm literally... The engine's... Oh, come on, baby. Come on, oh, baby. that's it. Oh! No engine! No, I've still got some RPM. No gear. Have I got my gear down? Nope. Shit! Tell me if they come down. Nope. Sweet. No gear for cap. Belly landing. Still a perfectly usable airframe. Well, that's easy if you're Engine's going to no gear. I lost the engine. I lost the engine. Oh. <laughs> that's that. Fair. I couldn't have done that better if I wanted to, which I kind of did. Right. And engine's gone. How about that for a lovely landing in Israel with a lovely plane which we're going to use for two years study. We're going to win the Sixth World, uh, Sixth World War, the Sixth Day War, hand it over to American 68, use it to save uh, F-4 pilots in the Vietnam War. Really interesting piece of history. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you later.